and welcome to Tomek. I'm Dave and I'm Matthew and you recognize this badge? It's the Cupra badge and this is the Formentor. It's Cupra's first car that's all new from the ground up. That's right and it's the VZ which means Veloz which means fast and boy it's fast. Come let's take a look at this. Named after Cape Formenta, which actually a lot of Cupra and Seat products are named after places in and around Spain. This is what you get when you cross a sports car with an SUV. This is a, a, the love child of that. And look at it. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's angry looking and also it's very cup racing. Lovely long bonnet with really sharp lines that leads you down to this mesh grill up here or down here. And also the Cupra logo, which nobody knows what it means. This sort of connecting C's or something else. You can work that out for yourself. The headlights are obviously uh, LED and also these unique C-shaped uh, DRLs down the side here. Very, very great at night and you'll work it out. Hopefully we may even show you if you're very lucky. And also plenty of vents down here to make sure the airflow goes through to the engine and also makes it very low in a drag coefficient point of view. Round the side. This vehicle is perfectly proportioned. Really nice long elongated nose, some beautiful sloping back down the rear here really really handsome the 19 inch wheels look a copper copper finished or uh, copper etched or something i don't know they look beautiful and also cooper brake calipers down here just in case you didn't know what the car was is actually nobody knows what the car is but we'll work on that moving further down you've got a sharp shoulder line that comes all the way down to this i really love this back quarter panel it sort of edges out and gives it this I don't know, bul bulbous back, uh, back end and just, I don't know, it's like an airbrush around here or a, a brush stroke of a, of a beautiful artist. There you go, that's me betting, being really creative. Round the rear, a roofline spoiler. You've got this coast to coast lighting across here. LEDs, I'll show you this at night, but it's amazing. Really goes, yeah, like I say, coast to coast. Cooper badge, Cooper writing. Again, if you don't know what it is, there it is. And also quad exhaust tailpipes that actually work. And a kicker tailgate that also works. Allows you plenty of boot space. And under here, a space saver that's got a subwoofer in between. That's what every space saver should have, a subwoofer. <laughs> now let's look under the bonnet. Under the bonnet here lies a 2-litre turbocharged engine that gives you... 228 kilowatts of power, 400 newton meters of torque. That's a beast. And thanks to its all wheel drive and seven speed GSG, it goes from zero to 100 in 4.9 seconds. Fuel efficiency is nine liters per 100 kilometers. And okay, it's not perfect for the planet. 203 grams per kilometer. So, you know, we'll just etch over that bit. Speaking of things that are not good for the planet, Matthew's inside and he'll show you what's going on in there. I'm not sure where that was going. I think I'm, I'm all right as far as the environment goes. Again, this interior, not the best for the environment, but who cares when it looks this good and it's full of copper accents, right? So firstly, let's start off with the seats. Well, they're these Cupra bucket seats with leather and some stiff side bolstering. And of course, the Cupra badge embossed on the top. They feel really nice. They've got a nice pattern going through the middle of them. And they are sort of the perfect unit to keep you in place around the corners. The dashboard is made in this soft plastic, which actually feels really nice to touch. And there's a, a cool contrast stitching going through in a color, which is, of course, bronze. The rest of the interior is really well crafted, as we'd expect from a VW Group car. Everything, just look at that. Everything's solid. There's no, you know compromise on quality in here the door panels they're covered in leather too so are the handles over here you've got this nice sort of brushed metallic finish plastic going across the middle here and of course there's plenty of practicalities too the door bins nice and big you get space for your phone down the middle here which will actually wireless charge it as well so how about that you get some more spaces down the middle here 
two cup holders and of course under armrest storage as well as you can see the steering wheel covered in nice leather we've got some solid thumb grips there a flat bottom as well so you know this is a proper performance car you get those sort of standard buttons on the side here which of course it's nice to see that they are actually buttons and rotary knobs and stuff like that as opposed to the touch capacitive stuff it's also highlighted in bronze by the way as you would expect there's some more bronze highlights over here on the right side you get the start button which is now on the steering wheel there and you know it's just a thumbs press away from your hand on the other side you get that cupra logo which activates the cupra mode or the real i guess track mode if you like stiffens up the suspension makes the exhaust louder and the throttle response faster all that good stuff and you really want to be in cupra mode most of the time because it's where you have the most fun in front of you the digital instrument cluster is of course configurable by pressing that view button there and everything that you normally find in red so the dial the actual needles themselves and the like rev limiter and stuff like that is actually highlighted in bronze in this car which is really cool and in this setup that we've got it in right now you actually get a G meter on the right side even. So how about that for something that's really cup racing focused? Another thing that's quite configurable and very, I guess, tech filled is the infotainment screen. So let's look at that. The infotainment screen, as you can see, quite colorful and just like the character of this car. It's, there's a lot going on here, but in some ways, Cupra has managed to really simplify the whole thing. At the top there, as you can see, there's all the air conditioning information, which of course is operated by the screen and the touch capacitive buttons down here. You press that to just get the shortcut drop down there. And all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. You got the maps, your media, and a shortcut to the start stop system, which is really handy because oftentimes these are absolutely impossible to find in modern cars. So flick over to the next screen and you have more shortcuts to your mobile phone, your air conditioning, and some of your trip information, pretty handy. But really where you want to be is one of these two menus. So you press that bronze style there and you get a more descriptive shortcut of all the icons. And then you press that little Cupra over there and you get done to the things that you really want to see. This is all of the safety alerts, which is nice, of course. But you, the next menu, drive profile, that's where all the cool stuff goes on. Because you can flick between comfort, sport, Cupra or track mode individual and for some reason an off-road mode so how about that that's pretty cool toggling through you can also play around with the background lighting and the vehicle settings so some pretty cool stuff going on all around here well it's nice seeing the cupra logo over there and all the functionalities of this screen but really we don't want to experience just the tech we want to experience the car and i think the right thing to do at this point is just to take this for mentor for a drive Okay, so first of all, let's get the launch control out of the way, which is basically a case of Cupra mode, get the traction off, but hold the button down so that the traction goes bing. You're in sports mode, you do the usual, which is left foot on the brake and right foot on the launch, and away you go. Oh. <laughs> ah. 4.9 seconds 0 to 100 this is a family suv actually it's not it's a cup racing suv so this is a sports car in suv clothing can't be better than that and actually some people have even got it under under well, look i'm even jumbling up my words they've got it under 4.9 seconds so this cupra is seriously quick it is and as you cooper have got three vehicles now under 4.9 seconds zero to 100 so that's awesome so if you were questioning its sporting credentials or calling it some other brand in the in the group well this cupra means business and i think they've really proved it now with the four mentor which is obviously a unique car from the ground up let's get the basics out of the way seating position this seat is awesome it just hugs me like uh like my wife doesn't the um accelerator brake all that sort of stuff is well within my short little leg span and also this steering wheel is 
great, really good position. I love the start stop being on the steering wheel, as Matthew pointed out earlier. And just the fact that it's just, when you go faster, the, the progressive steering comes in, so it becomes heavier as you go faster. But visibility is good out the rear. Uh, wing mirrors just slightly small but then it is a sports car so you don't need these big massive SUV ones that you would normally have and actually it's almost rude to call the the four men torn SUV because it it sits above the ground yes but it's almost a little bit more of a raised hatchback crossover kind of vehicle rather than an outright SUV even though it does actually have and off-road mode off -road <laughs> yeah so you can you can sort of you see all that grass there we could take it off-road if we wanted to yeah i really don't want it <laughs> look we're in awful conditions today the the rain is throwing down and all that sort of stuff but it feels really comfortable this all-wheel drive system feels nice the the purr of that fake exhaust well now the exhaust is right but the sound is not but it it feels angry and feels like a sports car which is what it should be won't be throwing it around the corners as such but you can it really does throw out nicely it does does love a bit of cornering and of course that i guess volkswagen derived ea triple eight engine as dave pointed out punches more than 300 horsepower in this car so look at that it just picks up effortlessly and we're it gives us you know an accurate percentage guide of how much power we're using and we're barely cracking the 20 percent mark so you know, this thing has so much to give. Particularly like the things like the uh, blind spot. It, it sort of comes in on the inside here on this on this interior lighting. So I, I don't know if you, I've, I've been around cars, you're overtaking them on the motorway and the yellow thing comes up and you think it's that the, they're gonna come out and it's because they've got the blind spot on their mirrors. This is all happens inside, so you've got, this information coming to you on the inside. It's very elegant, very, very nice, actually. Um, another thing that's elegant, and I've said it once already, is that those copper accents. I've ah, said it once, yeah. and I think I've probably said it a thousand times. I just love the, the highlighted copper on the interior, on the outside, on the wheels, the badge, of course, all that stuff. Really unique and really gives, you know, that Cupra flavor, if you like. Yeah, you're right. It's a it's a badge that not many people know or recognise straight away, but it it does turn heads. And this in this format, in this style, with the sloping rear roof, it really does turn heads. We have people looking at us actually virtually everywhere we go now. That's true. People are. Uh, there was a car that passed us earlier, and the passenger was giving this thing a good look at, but she couldn't tell what brand it was, and she was trying to make out from the badge. But again, Cupra is still. A new badge to the game but I'm pretty sure with cars like these people will know their name very soon handling wise this car sticks to the ground like it really shouldn't um, and I'm quite pleased about that uh, many other cars in the Volkswagen group do have really good uh, suspension and uh, drive modes and also the, but their front wheel drive and this really does stick to the road so so well and on a day like this, of course, you'd want it to. Um, but there are plenty of, of safety systems to get you out of trouble in the car as well. Obviously, Dave pointed out the blind spot monitoring earlier. You also get forward collision warning. You get rear cross traffic alert. The rear reversing camera on this, the quality is actually really impressive. Crazy good. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's got the optional Beats audio system in here for some more tech and there's a subwoofer in the back as well so you can really get some bass to your music which is good but remember that you do get quite a nice exhaust note piped in here too which you'd probably want to listen to instead. The digital screen's really cool, the layout's really nice, you can really personalize it which is cool but I don't know if Matthew's mentioned this, the copper accents just really make this vehicle, they really do. So there you have it, the Cupra Formenta VZ. VZ for velocity or for veloz and for speed and for just sportiness. It really is a sporty sports car SUV. I love it. It's clearly not a name to, to confuse with the thing that makes your cheese anymore because this Cupra really does mean business. And 
it may be a new batch to the game, but they're already upsetting some of the old old players. As they should. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. It is around here somewhere. And see you on the next one. See you. <laughs>